Hey everybody, it's Laura. Welcome to Wellness Wednesday um, on January, what is it, the 20th? Um, I am in my basement because my husband is still upstairs sleeping. I just finished my workout, so that's why I might be a little bit red. Um, a little sweaty, but not too bad. Um, this is my little workout area down here in our basement. And um, so I just come down here. I have my laptop and I just pull up videos on YouTube and do those. And then I did a little bit of weights, not much, just some biceps and triceps, um, just a little bit of upper body stuff, um, kind of easing back into getting into more intense stuff, hopefully in the next week or two. Um, so update on how I'm doing with my goals. Um, my goal is to work out f at least four times a week. I did not complete that last week. I only got three, um, but I've already gotten two in this week, so I'm sure I'll get my four. Um, eventually I'd like to work up to doing five or six, even what I used to do. Um, and as far as sleep, I've been averaging about six to seven hours, so that's been good. I'd like it to be a little bit more, but I'm happy with that because there was a few weeks ago before I kind of started really focusing on it, I was only getting like five a night. And I know for some people that's fine. It's not fine for me. I was dragging my butt like it felt like a zombie. So I've been feeling much better that way. Um, the snacking at night is the same. I'm still doing it. There, uh, last week, Wednesday, I didn't snack after dinner because I had fasting blood work the next morning at 7.30, so I couldn't eat after 7.30, and we didn't even eat dinner till like 6.30, so I wasn't even hungry. So that was the only day I was able to accomplish that goal. Um, so I'm still working on it. Um, every day is a new day. So, although last night I did have just like something small after dinner, so that was sort of good. Um, but anyway, so I'm still working on that. Um, and then as far as the reducing stress, yeah, not so good. That's, that is so hard for me. Um, I have a bunch of stuff I can do. Meditation. I have books I can color in. I could read. Uh, I haven't been doing those things, so I'm still working on it. Um, <laughs> um, and I mentioned on my Mask Monday video about Ricky's sister, um, I haven't gotten an update this morning because again, Ricky is sleeping and they send everything, you know, to him. So I, I don't know how she's doing now, but they did take her off of the ventilator um, Monday evening and she was breathing on her own, but still unresponsive. So um, they said that if she makes it like the next couple of days, she's going to be going into hospice. So as of yesterday, she was still with us and still at the regular hospital. So if she is still with us today I'm assuming that sometime today she'll be going into hospice care I'm not really sure um so appreciate all the prayers and good thoughts and good vibes for her that you know a couple people have, or several people have already commented on so keep them coming um there's that and then the other thing I wanted to talk about is um and this might be TMI if there's any gentlemen watching um sorry <laughs> um not sorry my channel um <laughs> I don't mean to sound I hope that didn't sound snotty I didn't mean it that way I'm just saying it's my channel so this is what I want to talk about and if it makes anyone uncomfortable then just pause and whatever um so I am 48 I will be 49 this year and I have started big M um I've been in perimenopause for probably like five years I think I'm probably starting regular old menopause uh, because I have been starting to get the night sweats. It's so much fun, you guys. Oh my God. I go to bed freezing and then I wake up in the middle of the night covered in sweat. It's awesome. So, um, I have a, actually a doctor's appointment for my annual physical just with my, you know, internal medicine doctor, my primary physician tomorrow, which is why I had to do the, the blood work last week. Um, so I don't know if I'll bring it up to him because I feel like that's something more you talk about with like an OBGYN. Um, but when I mentioned it last year, they were like, yeah, that's what happens. Like they don't give you anything for it anymore. I remember when my mom went through it and she was on like hormone therapy and I know they don't do that cause it can increase like cancer risks and stuff. Um, so I think I'm going to start researching maybe some like supplements or something I can take to help because 
it is rough. Um, I don't, I don't know that I get full on hot flashes yet. Every once in a while I do, I will come home from work and I'm always cold and I bundle up with a blanket and then like 30 minutes later I'm like really hot and I kick the blanket off. But I don't know that that's a full on hot flash, but I'm definitely getting the night sweats and it sucks. And then the monthly gift has been extremely irregular for the last couple of months. So like I skipped a month and then I got it like two weeks in a row and so, yeah. Um, so anyway, so I'm dealing with that. If anyone has any like more natural herbal remedy type of tips to help kind of with some of that, I think, was it St. John's wort? I want to say was one that I had heard. I have to do, obviously do my research, but if anyone wants to drop some comments below, um, um, be happy to get any suggestions and like I said I will definitely do my research um I'm not due to see the OBGYN until September or October something like that so I don't think I'm going to make a special appointment just because of you know COVID it's it's hard to get in to see anybody and honestly I don't know that they're going to do anything anyway so I'm probably not going to make a separate appointment and I may bring it up with my primary doctor tomorrow but I feel like that's kind of exercising futility he'll tell me to follow up with them but with the OBGYN but anyway I'm rambling sorry if anyone has any healthy tips for that let me know and I hope everybody is doing great on this wellness Wednesday um this can be whatever you want it to be if if you want to participate and you're not already doing it if you want to lose weight great if you want to stop smoking if you want to start exercising if you want to Work on your stress, start meditating, um, figure out a way to do more self-care. Like, it can be whatever, you know, that's why it's called Wellness Wednesday, not like Weight Loss Wednesday or something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's just whatever, whatever you feel um, you kind of need to be, have your more overall well-being. So, anyway, <laughs> I think that's all I wanted to share. Um, I am waiting on my Walmart beauty box. Everybody got theirs, it looks like, but I, and they don't send tracking, so I don't know where it is. I'm assuming it's out lost somewhere. Um, and then I have my Love With Food coming, probably not till next week. It's been sitting in pre-shipment for like a week with FedEx, so I don't know when that's coming, but that's my January box. And then we have January Birch Box, the grooming one that, um, I got for Ricky, which I think I'm going to end up canceling. I wanted him to feel like, you know, involved in this and he's just yeah. I mean he did the video with me and it was really fun but as far as the products he's like yeah I use one or two things they're just okay so it's like I don't wanna it's only ten dollars a month but why spend it if if he's not enjoying it so I'm probably gonna cancel that uh, but we do have one more coming so I guess I'll wrangle him into doing the video um, so anyway I think that's all I have hope everyone has a great Wednesday and we'll see you soon